lots of wedges. I approve. Welcome back, everybody. Today we're taking a look at another ship in the lineup review. This one is dwarfing the line at the moment. <laughs> this one is Enterprise E. If you'd like to tell us the name of the ship, USS Insignia. The USS Insignia. That was a hell of a dish on that thing. Wow. <laughs> And um, tell us a bit more about the ship, mate. Say again? Tell us some more about it. Um, it's an Insignia class battleship, essentially. Okay. I think of it like a nuclear deterrent. Oh, okay. I've never heard of this one. What's it, what, what canon is it from, is it? It is, it is a Star Trek ship, but it didn't appear in any Star Trek episodes. Oh, okay. So it's just in technical drawings and whatnot. Yeah. Though there are one or two YouTube videos including it as well. Oh, okay. Interesting. This one's designed to get from one point to another very quickly. Hence the reason it's got six jump drive systems. Six? Yep. God damn. <laughs> I take it you uh, cascade them so you can just jump, 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 jump. That's amazing. Just a little bit. <laughs> Man. Yeah. All right, let's take a quick look six at the inside. Huh? I There's can't... not a massive amount of interior to look at, to be honest, although That's the warp okay. core does work when I turn it on. Okay, well maybe we'll have a look at that then, hang on. Let's just, just give me a sec to actually get to the core of this thing. Sure. So I'm in one of your hangars, by the looks of it. So you've got two shuttles. And a Venture Class Scout as well. And a Venture Class Scout. Right, I'll be back at Main Engineering in a sec, in build mode. Right, I think I'm in engineering. I think I might be above it. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Do you see Scotty? Warp no. core is turned on. It should work now. Oh. Oh, yeah, there it goes. And that and the warp nacelle the lighting is all controlled from a single activation module. It's lagging a bit at the moment, I think, but that's the server, not the logic. Mm. It's not much there it goes. it's a very basic clock. Yeah, Nothing yeah, more. I can see it. It's working now. It's just a bit... Yeah, people are causing lag. Alright, that's cool. Mm. What else have we got then, quickly? Lots of corridor. There is a working red alert system as well, by the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now I found the real warp core. I don't know what I was looking oh, you're at in the before. Central source section, by any chance? Yeah, I am now. That's not the warp core well, at what all. What is this? This is like a computer core. Oh, is it? Okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> and he's got his really clock in your there. Tiny bridge. It's compact, red, like compact um, logic. Com so, yeah, compact. <laughs> it is you could compact, say that. Though. Yeah, it's definitely compact. Yes. Hashtag compact. And right now you'll be able to see proof of the amount of jump drive systems I mentioned. Oh, okay, right. Well, hang on, let me just... Three do... either side of the actual core. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't need proof, mate. Just charge it up and <laughs> uh, head on out. Charging it up as we speak. And name that ship one more time. USS Insignia. And your name? Enterprise E. Are you on a faction on the server? Pardon? Are you on a faction? I am in a faction. And would you like to shout out to them? Um, not really much to say because it's a small faction currently. So it's Hello Blank. What's the name of the faction? Star Trek Federation. Alright. There we are. I have to reword that one, I yeah, think. Yeah, it'll take a few moments to charge up the jump drive. Yep. No worries. Well, one of them. As is often the way. Oh, by the way, as a side note, this does have a very big push pulse system built into the nacelles. <laughs> nice. I'm not going to say how big, because it's a little bit silly. Good. Right, I'm ready. Okay, jump, jump. When, the, when there isn't a warp troll. And thanks for watching, everybody. See you all next time.